Well, hell. President Felipe Calderon and other Mexican officials have jumped into the fray over Arizona's new immigration law. Calderon called the law a violation of human rights that opens the door to intolerance and hatred. He promised to take it up with Obama when he visits Washington next month. Mexico's health minister, Jose Cordova, described the law as abominable and discriminatory. Mexico Senator Josefina Mota claimed the law means a criminalization of all Mexicans. So, for the benefit of my amigos south of the border and for you liberals here, let me remind you again of Mexico's immigration laws. In order to stay in Mexico, you must prove you have the means to sustain yourself financially. You won't get welfare, free schools, free health care, or free anything. You cannot have a criminal record. Your ownership of property is restricted. You can't protest the government or get involved in politics. If you enter under false pretenses, you are deported or you are imprisoned. Same if you violate your visa status. Re-enter illegally, it's a 10-year prison term. Aid illegals, you go to jail. And oh, local and municipal police must assist federal immigration authorities in arresting illegal immigrants. Those are just some of the highlights. Unlike us, Mexico enforces their immigration laws. So El Presidente, don't accuse us of hatred or human rights violations and intolerance, while your laws are more draconian than anything on our books. And don't expect apologies from us, and maybe from Obama, but uh, no, not from the rest of us.